Hello you beautiful souls, welcome here, thank you very much for coming to my channel, for watching my videos, for all of your kindness, all of your love, your support and your wonderful comments and your generous donations. I'm very very grateful to all of you. Thank you. Today we've got a reading for single people and we will look at what's coming towards you next in love, who is coming towards you and uh, yeah. I've got three puzzle cards for you to choose from, I will insert the picture of them in a second. As always, please take your time, listen to your intuition, and then choose a pile that attracts you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go! Hello my beautiful pile number one, or everyone who chose the pink Chalcedony stone. Let's see... What is next for you in love? We are opening the reading with the Nine of Cups. Despair. Queen of Pentacles. Reunion. The Star. And Widower. Mmm, pile one. You know what you want. I don't feel like this is a pile for confused people or those who are just waiting for something to happen in their life, uh, in their love life, um, some sort of relationship to show up. No, you, you know what you want. You've got uh, a clear picture, you've got a wish of some sort, a dream of some sort that you've been waiting for for a really long time. There is something that warms you up uh, on the inside, that makes your heart feel full, uh, gives you those beautiful emotions and fulfillment. I apologize for the sound outside. But with this Nine of Cups there is this feeling that you've been dreaming about something for quite some time. Maybe you've been doing a vision board or a vision book or just imagining the ideal picture of a relationship for yourself but somehow it wouldn't come it just wouldn't materialize for you yet wouldn't manifest even though you know exactly what you want even though you, you've almost lived through it already almost felt it mm. almost like you have a really good grip on it on this um, dream of yours on this it's like a plan almost, but with lots of emotions involved. You're definitely manifesting a beautiful union here, Pile One, I have no doubt. It's just the waiting or the fact that it hasn't come yet makes you feel kind of desperate and um, disappointed and a little bit sad. What's going on now? I feel like that's the energy of you in the past. You have been trying to manifest it. Now it's almost like I see you working on your stability more so rather than on your emotional life, on your love life, working on your money, on your um, self of sense of groundedness in life, on your um, career possibly, your financial situation, uh, on your self-esteem, the sense of being self-sufficient with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I feel like many of you are putting a lot of effort into your, into everything earthly, becoming more grounded, maybe taking care of your body, uh, fixing the way you eat, your sleep, um, your health maybe is one of your priorities. But what I'm also feeling here is that at the back of your mind, some of you is going to resonate with some of you, a vision for a reunion with someone. There is this idea that uh, maybe it's still possible, maybe we can reunite, maybe we can make it work, maybe this person is going to come back. It's almost like you gave up on that idea, um, you're not investing in it anymore, you're investing in your own life, in your stability, but it's somehow faintly in your energy still. What if? That feeling, what if? What if it happens? What if we meet again? What if we um, get in the communication again? What if we start over? It's almost like you 
change your focus from that connection onto yourself, onto building yourself up, improving your life, but at the same time leaving it up to God or divine or spirit, whoever you believe in. Uh, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, that's fine. That's the energy I'm feeling from you. But there is someone particular in your past that is still lingering a little bit in your energy and you are still wondering, I would say wondering. I don't see you actively pursuing it anymore or just trying to make it work, but it's still at the back of your mind. Now emphasis is very much on your stability, on your prosperity, on your abundance in life, on your improving your lifestyle, improving your habits, um, getting your coin, earning more, um, finding a good job for some of you. Very earthly, grounded, practical things you are very focused. And I feel like many of you are doing really good in life at the moment, uh, becoming much more successful, becoming much more feeling much more stable, not so shaky anymore, not so insecure anymore. Yeah, very nice feeling of stability is present here about you. Stability, abundance and just blooming, blooming at this period of your life. What's coming towards you? This is so interesting, we've got the star and the widower. Healing, healing is coming towards you. I do see you letting go of the past, pile one, the, the person you were holding on to or still thinking about you from time to time, it's almost like uh, you've got to choose now, you've got to choose, whether you, you, you're choosing your past or you're choosing your future, because it's like putting things to rest finally and healing yourself, healing the story behind you and focusing on that, because we started with the Nine of Cups and the future energy is the star. Very similar, very similar messages in these two cards about hope, about focusing on your ultimate vision of happiness, what it is that you want, what would make you very, very happy, very emotionally fulfilled, regardless of how it looks to others, regardless of uh, how weird it is, how big it is, how big your dream is. I don't feel like you're someone who is afraid of dreaming big, because the star is the energy of, um, it's Aquarius energy, Aquarius people, um, they have a very broad mind, they look beyond what's acceptable, what's the norm, and I feel like your dream about your ultimate best connection is, um, it's almost like you're not shy about it, you're not shy about dreaming of the rom romance of a lifetime, or just a beautiful marriage or connection of um, two kindred spirits, a soulmate connection with the star, it just feels big, really big. And there is a lot of hope in you. This whole uh, spread is so hopeful, Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles and the star, so much hope here. And it's not a wishful thinking at all, because it looks like you are um, you are a very grounded person and you know what's possible for you. Now you know what you deserve. Now you know your value. Now you know how big your heart is, how devoted you are, how loyal you are, and um, how much you can bring to another person's life. It's almost like choosing, choosing what's right for you and healing the past. That's what's happening here. A lot of hope, a lot of hope and um, faith. Faith in, in the fact that it's coming. And it is, 100%. The star is a major arcana card. And I'm feeling that um, in the future, in the nearest future, you're going to... Uh, you will go through a little bit of grief here. But it, I don't feel like it's painful. It more so just healing the little bits that were still distracting you from your, from your dream relationship, from your um, ultimate um, goal in your love life. A lot of healing is coming your way. It feels very natural. It feels very exciting. It's not like mm, death, transformation and crisis or tower card. The star is just so beautiful. I hope I'm making sense uh, today. I'm a little bit foggy <laughs> still. But let's look at your oracle cards. Oh my gosh. 
I love this. I love this so much for you, pile one. Where do I even start? Let's start here, because we've got this card of vision. It's the main energy of this reading is just absorbed, fulfilled with the message of vision, having a dream and hoping for it to come true. Again, I do see that many of you are manifesting a beautiful connection. Maybe you wrote a list of qualities you want in your ideal partner and you meditated on them, you um, attached emotion, you attached your intention and now you're working on yourself to make sure that you match this person, that you're a good, you would be a good partner for them. And then the star, another indication of vision on a star, on a fallen star. And uh, it's almost like if you were doubting that you were doing it wrong, or maybe it's not going to happen, or maybe it's just a waste of time, please don't, because I see it coming. Um, the energetic work that you are doing behind the scenes is just propelling you forward towards this person, is speeding up this beautiful connection that is coming your way. And I'm feeling like this would be the the one who would make you really, really happy. Because look at that. You've got this card, happy, happy. That's where you're headed. That's what's ahead of you in a connection uh, that's coming towards you next. You're going to be truly, sincerely, honestly happy. You will be smiling wide, laughing loud. Can I say that in English? Yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, it just feels like a huge opportunity and a blessing coming your way and uh, exactly what you wanted, exactly what you prayed for and tried to manifest for quite a long time now because I do see a little bit of despair in you. But you are totally on the right track. Pile one, you are on the right track. Don't even doubt yourself. And then we've got this beautiful card, Full Moon in Capricorn, which is coming soon, I think, in January. And it says the end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, you're letting go of the past for sure. Of maybe some of you have been trying to earn love or work for love or be um, someone you thought the other person would appreciate or value, but it would never really come eventually in your past relationships. And I feel like you are now over all of it. It was just lessons. It was just growing pa pains. It was just learning that you had to go through. And it's about to be over, 100%. This tough, tough cycle, you, you pass the tests of it, so you are good now. And then we've got this card, First Chakra, or Archangel Michael. And I feel like for, first of all, this card always tells me the, the energy of, gives me the energy of passion, because the First Chakra, the Root Chakra, it's all about um, reproduction and passion and things we need and all of the instincts. Um, and impulses. So there's definitely going to be a lot of passion when you meet your next person and this feeling like they make you feel safe again. It's also about safety and security, our root chakra. And um, very masculine energy is coming through. A lot of red color and uh, I feel like you yourself are quite feminine, my title one. Very grounded, very... Um, I'm getting Taurus energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius again, yeah. These are not all feminine signs, but I feel like in your nature, in your your temperament, your character, you're quite soft, you're very grounded, you're very natural and um, feminine, even if you're a man who's watching me. So yeah, beautiful. <laughs> then we've got this card, keep an open mind. Yeah, although I feel like you already have a very fixed, maybe list even for some of you, maybe just an image of who you could imagine yourself to be with for the long term. But still, I feel like it's a message for you, um, just in case you are too narrow. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, it says. I definitely feel like the soulmate is coming, because the star as your next... Um, Stop, I would say, in life, next chapter, it does feel like someone um, destined, someone you're meant to be with, someone very healing for your soul, someone that was there for you. It was written in the stars, maybe in your natal chart. That's um, Look at your seventh house and the rule of your seventh house, if you know astrology a tiny little bit. Um, Look at your rule of the seventh house, and I feel like that would be the indication of who is coming next for you. 
definitely soulmate energy here and then the final card that we have for you <laughs> so beautiful again have patience yeah it's coming for sure and you're doing a really good job on yourself uh, building your self-esteem maybe working on your feeling on safety in your own skin in your life in your routines um, building the life that you want very very stable energy and it also says love is patient and kind always mm -hmm. that's the kind of relationship that's on the way to you very patient kind and healing lots of hope is here lots of uh, it's also unconditional love the star is again I keep getting that Aquarius energy for some reason and um, very humanitarian feeling very uh, almost like non-judgmental that's the person you're attracting very loving very kind almost like a best friend who is simultaneously a lover and a partner and a supporter and uh, who's going to make you very very happy 100% just be patient. Number 17. Number 17 <laughs> seems to be quite uh, prominent here because I keep looking at the cards and I was drawn to um, number 17 on this card and then the star is also 17. So maybe your birthday is on 17th. Maybe, what, what does it come down to? Eight months. Maybe eight months from now. Maybe eight weeks for some of you. I feel like it, it shouldn't be, it's not going to be long. It's not going to be long at all when it's coming. Mm. Let's look at the bottom of your deck to see the background story to it. Yeah, a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of worry and um, about the future. When is it coming? Am I going to stay single <laughs> until the rest of my life? Um, very troublesome thoughts and just maybe the sense of am I on the right track, am I doing enough, should I do something else, should I do more and I feel like it's all living your life because you know what you want you send that intention towards the into the universe and it always listens it always listens you're gonna get your wish fulfillment 100% and very soon I feel like winter is, is quite an important time because the eight is also a number of saturn saturn rules capricorn and the capricorn season we also got it we have it here for moon and capricorn january december the end of december and january seems to be a, an important period for many of you i feel like so this is all I have for you, Pile 1. I hope this reading gave you some answers that you've been looking for, inspired you in any way, has resonated with you. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful Pile number 2, or everyone who chose the Citrine Stone. Let's see what's next for you in love. We are opening the reading with the moon, thought, the knight of swords, wife, page of wands, and doctor. Mm -hmm. Pile two. Um, very recently in your past I'm getting a little bit of sadness and almost like a melancholic dreamy energy about your, your love life, your situation, where you are at this, in this era of your life, about what's going on, your past, your future, and it's almost like you've been pondering, you've been contemplating, contemplating where am I going? who am I going to end up with, what does the future hold for me and it feels like un uncertainty, a lot of uncertainty is here, a lot of wondering and almost like philosophical thoughts, what now, um, what kind of relationship can I um, uh, expect, it's almost like trying to 
plan for the future, trying to come up with, um, trying to find clarity for yourself. What it is that's really for me and what is not. Almost like trying to distinguish where should I focus, where should I, what kind of partner is for me, what kind of the type of relationship, the dynamic of relationship, what is for me and what is not. I feel like you've been quite foggy in the past and now you really took time to ponder, to think about it, to um, clarify things for yourself. And what's happening now, I do see you gaining clarity. I do see you finally, um, it's almost like a de determination. This is what I want. And many of you have realized that it's almost like um, my next date is going to be with the person I will marry. <laughs> Something like that. Looking at this combination, at this energy, the Knight of Swords and wife, it's almost like there is this clear... A crystal clear understanding in you that this is what I want. I'm not going to entertain any superficial, casual connections or relationships that don't give me the sense of hope or don't show any long-term potential. Uh, because you're ready. You're ready for something more. You're ready for a family. You're ready for kids. Many of you have realized that recently. And... Uh, yeah, now you're serious. Now you're much more serious and you know exactly the type of relationship you, you want, the person who would be the ideal partner, ideal spouse for you even. And I feel like that's what you're focusing on. Maybe you even came up with the qualities in your mind um, of the person you, you could see yourself ending up with. It feels like m more mental energy and figuring out for yourself what were your mistakes in the past, what was the type of person you would usually go for in the past or date in the past, um, what are your patterns, and clearing all of that out and just focusing on what do I want now and not being distracted by anything that is not interesting to you anymore. A lot of clarity has come to you, pile two. And uh, there's this feeling that many of you just want a family now. Many of you are just focused on, I want a stable connection, I want a marriage. Nothing less than that will do. Or a person, I want to meet a person who would be uh, able to give me that, able to give me a long-term connection, stability, who would be reliable, who would be a marriage material, basically. <laughs> It sounds a little bit rude, but that's that's true. I feel like for many of you, you are done with playing games, uh, done with wandering in the darkness, or just trying all of it if you were someone who was very fiery, I would say, and excited about exciting, excited about meeting new people, all kinds of people, dating different... Uh, yeah. Now you have your almost like a goal. Your mind is set on something more profound, on something more long-term. Very interesting. A lot of determination. It's almost like I'm going to cut out everyone out of my life that doesn't live up to my expectations, doesn't live up to what I truly deserve and what I want now, what I'm ready for now. That's you here, pile two. <laughs> And good for you, really good for you. Because it's almost like it's a very different energies that you've been in. In the past, there is a lot of like wandering in the dark. What if, maybe, I don't know, let's try this, let's try that. Uh, quite a melancholic and lost and just um, foggy feeling from this moon card. You were much more maybe emotional, retrospective, poetic. And now you just you're very logical, very cl clear about what you want, uh, very determined, and it's a nice progression. The future energies. I do see a potential um, prospect of meeting someone in the future because we've got the page of wands and doctor. First of all, there is this energy of newness, something new. I definitely don't see any exes coming back for you. I feel like you, you are done with all of that. But I'm also sensing a new beginning, a new chapter for you, for many of you. Maybe travel uh, is involved here. A relocation, um, starting maybe new 
endeavor, like a new business or a study. The Page of Wands is all about exploring. It's a Sagittarius energy. It's all about foreign lands. It's different cultures. It's traveling. It's um, even going on vacations. I feel like there, there's going to be a spark here with someone. You're definitely going to meet someone that's going to um, be of interest to you. And I do feel like it's a very healing connection because we've got the doctor and the page of wands. It could literally be a doctor for some of you. I don't know why I just got this feeling that this person you meet, you might meet while you are traveling or while you're moving or just maybe you, you go on a road trip and you meet a doctor or a pharmacist, someone in the healthcare profession, maybe a psychologist even that's also health related. And it does feel very exciting, it feels very passionate and feels like a new opportunity. We'll clarify more with the oracle cards, but I do feel um, a lot of healing coming your way from this person too. Just feels very fresh and that's how it's healing, it's just something that you, your soul would uh, were yearning for. From this energy of the moon, just feeling stuck and confused. There is a lot of freshness coming your way. Definitely a new potential uh, partner here. Let's look at your oracle cards. Oh, wow. Mm, that's interesting. A spark of passion, 100%. First of all, let's start here. We've got this card appreciation, and I feel like that's basically where you are now. Uh, finding more appreciation for yourself, realizing your value, realizing your worth, your self-esteem is definitely rising here. It's almost like you're not wondering anymore. You're not so self-conscious anymore as you used to be in this moon energy. Now with this Knight of Swords, your mind is very sharp. Sharp. You are very discerning. You are very focused on your end goal, on your ultimate partnership, on what it is that you want. And I feel like, again, it's family for many of you. Family. That's what you want. A marriage. It's not like that. It's not that you are at the point in your life where you are looking for excitement or romance of a lifetime or just something that will make you feel alive. Now you want stability. But the passion and romance that's coming your way is going to be a nice additional bonus. So yeah, I feel like it's a very important time for you where you found. Um, it's almost like you've evaluated what it is that you can give and um, came up with an image of a person that could be a good uh, receiver of that, who would be worthy of you, who would you, be, you would be happy with. Then we've got this card last. Again, I was feeling passion coming your way, and it is. <laughs> with this page of wands, it, after all, it's the wand suit, all about fire, all about passion. And um, it feels quite healthy to me, to be honest, because we also got the community card. I don't feel like it's just lust. There is more to it. There is definitely much more to it. But the way it starts, there is going to be a very prominent spark of passion between you and this person. Maybe you live in different places. Maybe you look different somehow. There's just something unusual, like exotic even. Maybe they're from different culture or just different upbringing and you find each other incredibly interesting, incredibly um, pulling and magnetic. Then we've got this card community. I do see that you are very focused on the family and you are definitely manifesting a very stable relationship, family, kids, support. I also feel like somehow um, your family, the one you were brought up in, is going to affect, uh, how do I word it better, is going to play a role in you, in, <laughs> I can't speak English today, somehow your family will take part in the process of you meeting this person, that's what I'm trying to say, because we've also got this card, I keep looking at the combination of this card, and I feel like it could be some sort of family gathering that you meet them, or family celebration, or just um, Christmas, <laughs> or maybe New Year's Eve, some sort of um, family outing, or maybe tra traveling to see your family, your extended family. Somehow it's very prominent here, because we also got 
well, the community card, which is all about family and support and stability. And then we've got healing family issues. And it says, your love life benefits if you forgive your parents. Very similar message of somehow um, being around family. I don't necessarily feel like this connection will trigger family issues. Not at all. It's just your family will be close to you, for many of you. Or you will be, I don't know, passing by through where your family lives or used to live. Or maybe there will be a reunion with your family members and you'll meet someone else there, someone important there, for sure. Just a sense of community and being around people that uh, matter to you. And that's where this uh, spark of passion will appear, will ignite. Then we've got this card, Blue Moon, and it says, believe in the impossible. Yeah, don't give up. Don't give up on your idea, on your goal, on your dream of what it is that you want. Don't settle for less. It's coming. It's 100% coming, even if it feels like, oh, it's probably not realistic for me. I won't be able to meet the person like that, or uh, I don't deserve the relationship like that. Give all those thoughts up and focus on what you know you deserve. You are on the right path. Then we've got this card, back to what you love. And it says, reevaluate your desires. Again, I feel like that's what you've been doing. Figuring out what you love, who you could love, what you would love to feel like in a relationship. What is the ideal love for you overall? And with this back to what you love, I feel like maybe some of you will be returning to where you're parents leave or maybe just coming back to your hometown and meeting someone there very strong message here that i keep getting and i can't shake it off for you guys i feel like for, for some of you it will resonate very strongly considering the plans you have some sort of travel is on your mind or some sort of discovery or adventure that you want to pursue somehow related to your family as well and that's where it will happen back to what you love almost like coming back to yourself coming back to your values your core your ancestry your um where you came from let's look at the bottom of your deck to see the background story here <laughs> then we've got the wheel of fortune you guys are traveling you guys are traveling somewhere i almost have no doubts here i'm like 70 80 percent sure that this is my traveling pile these are my seekers you are going to meet this person unexpectedly, where there will be many changes in your life, maybe a big move, maybe some sort of, you're going to study somewhere, you're coming back to your hometown, you, you choose to, I don't know, move into another area of your town, some sort of movement and cardinal change is happening and, and it will come very unexpectedly, this meeting with new person, very nice energy almost like a gift, a compensation to you for everything you've been through so far, for all the darkness you've been wandering. So this is all I have for you, pal, too. I hope um, this reading gave you uh, some answers you've been looking for, has inspired you somehow, and I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello my beautiful pile number 3 or everyone who chose white obsidian stone, let's see what is next for you in love. We are opening the reading with the 8 of cups, pleasure seekers, judgment, messenger, the emperor and money oh wow pile three i love this for you i have to say first <laughs> i love this for you why because first of all you just walked away from something or someone that you were investing all of your time all of your energy your beautiful kindness your love uh, your life force and it was all just um, superficial. It's, it's not what 
maybe there were many empty promises or the connection stayed at the uh, friends with benefits level or maybe the person just didn't give you what you deserve, didn't live up to your expectations and it somehow never really grew to anything serious, this connection that you've been in. And if this doesn't resonate with you, please don't watch this uh, reading, uh, don't waste your time, choose another pile or another reading altogether. But this is what I'm seeing, I feel like many of you have just walked away from something that was quite important for you, that you were very emotionally attached to. I don't feel like it was easy, it was very hard, almost like um, leaving a child of yours. I feel like you've invested a lot of yourself into this. You've been building with someone, but at the same time it just uh, it, it didn't nourish you. It didn't give you the, the, the feeling of stability, the feeling of safety, comfort, and almost like all of the long-term potential that you thought uh, was there. It's almost like you imagined it at the end, and it's always heartbreaking, it's always quite sad, and time, time is the most precious thing. It's not even just, uh, it's not physical things we give to others, gifts and affection, time that we sacrifice to uh, relationships that never really become anything, that's the saddest part. We will never get the time back. But it was not for nothing, because it, it was probably a lesson for you, we are meant to go through these things. Uh, and I feel like you are almost over it now, for many of you party, you're almost done pining over it or being sad. I just feel like you walked away. It's just almost like you're, you, you keep detaching yourself from that story, uh, going towards the new door opening for you and uh, not looking back. I don't feel like you want to look back anymore. What's happening now? I do see a new beginning for many of you here pile three and it feels uh, quite refreshing it feels quite unexpected and almost like you're coming back to life here and that's interesting because we've got a messenger and judgment it could be a connection that uh, is was initiated online or through some sort of um, technology maybe dating site what are they uh, tinder and the other ones, but I feel like it, it feels powerful, this connection that you are, you already have or you are about to enter, because with the judgment, it's a major arcana card, it's a very significant situation here, almost like um, something is going to hit you and you're going to understand that this is it, this is important, I'm supposed to meet this person, the communication that we've got is very uh, powerful, is very deep and um, almost like recognition, coming back to life, very refreshing. Uh, what am I? I feel like communication between you and this person is just reminding you of who you are, reminding you of uh, why you're doing all of this, why, why you are living even very interesting it just feels like a powerful bond that you've got with someone i'm not sure if they're already in your life or not just yet but i do see a beautiful communication i do see uh, the feeling of excitement upheaval in a good way and just uh, freshness a lot of freshness and almost like a compensation for you for what you've been through in the past with the, the other person who was um, not responsible enough or not basically not giving you what you want this feels powerful this new connection because we've got the judgment and then the emperor you guys mm, it's there is this nice change between the superficiality of your last relationship the way it was not fulfilling the way it was not stable and now the future for you and uh, your relationship i do see someone concrete like rock stable in your life that you could rely on that you could um, someone like a shoulder to lean on someone very very strong especially if you are a woman the emperor and especially in this in this deck 
he's all about structure, he's all about stability and uh, is the energy of Aries by the way. I apologize for the sound outside. And uh, I feel like that's exactly what you deserve. That's exactly what you've been looking for, hoping for, and it's coming. Someone very stable, someone very reliable, very hardworking. And especially, I feel like it's a very financially successful person that you're about to um, get together with. So much red color with the emperor and money. Someone very abundant, someone very prosperous is coming your way. Just the person that you could trust, I feel like, that you could um, rely on at the moment of need. You would know that they will always be there, that they are very strong, that they are resilient and stoic, not someone who will bend um, in the face of struggles in life or just someone superficial, flaky, maybe. It's almost like you were with a kid previously in your past relationship and now you're going to be with a real adult person you can learn from. Yeah, and the Emperor is um, giving me the energy of the husband as well, um, especially in traditional tarot. The Empress is a wife, mother, the Emperor is a provider, is a husband, it's a very, just someone who's going to be there, who you could uh, totally trust, be blindfolded and trust them. Very loyal energy, very uh, structured and also very successful and abundant, very nice energy. And it's such a contrast between what you've been in in the past, what you just left behind and where you're headed. Mm -hmm. Let's look at your oracle cards. Mm. Yeah, look at this. First of all, we've got this TikTok card and it's all about time. It's all about, um, I feel like you realized recently, very recently, many of you, that it's time to go. It's to definitely a time to leave the connection that was not serving you in the past, that you are due for something, uh, well, you are due. <laughs> it's time for something better, it's time for something more fulfilling, something more stable, something real. I just want to say real and serious. And you totally deserve it. And again, the, the energy of timing is very well uh, shown here with this judgment. It's almost like the call is here, you know what you want now and the, the connection is, again, for some of you I feel like it's already here, it just happened, you just got in a connection or at least in a communication with someone new that uh, has a very strong influence on you, an impact on you and for others it's just around the corner, it's just about to happen. So yeah, it's time, it's time definitely for many of you. We also got this card, the warrior. And I feel like it's the person that, again, that energy of Arius is coming through with this emperor and the warrior. You're definitely going to be with someone who's going to fight for you this time, who's going to um, earn you, basically. Like a territory, like warriors earn territory in war. And um, they won't take it lightly, they won't uh, take you for granted, they won't be someone who's just there for the pleasure, for the fun and excitement, uh, superficial stuff. I feel like this person likes to uh, put effort, they like to work for the things they they want in life, they, the things they want to keep, they will definitely value you. And again, I'm feeling the energy of someone very, very strong, very resilient, very determined, Especially if it's a man, it's going to be someone incredibly strong. Like very, very masculine energy. Then we've got this card blossom in abundance. Exactly, that's where you're headed. Especially with this person. I feel like you yourself are doing quite good at the moment. Financially, you are blooming. You are feeling much more worthy and uh, improving your life. But this person is going to add to your abundance so much more. I do sense that they're very wealthy. Like, it's so powerful here with this emperor and money, someone quite wealthy. Um, they are not struggling with their money whatsoever. No worries at all. And I feel like that's something they, they're looking to, looking for someone to share this with. And that's going to be you, pile three. Definitely a very abundant connection. With, honestly, this is the energy of empress here as well uh, in traditional tarot. And then we've got the emperor. 
it could be someone that you would marry eventually i do see that here and we also got the cancer energy here so i'm quite sure that this could be something you end up being a family with this person we also got this guy the personal issue which is resolution full moon and cancer mm -hmm. finally letting go of the pain of the past of uh, resentment or maybe hurt disappointment with the state of eight of cups and finding clarity finding almost um, another calling another excitement for yourself in life with this judgment it's a completely new chapter starting for you completely new era with someone who is worthy of being in your life so someone who is worthy of your love 100 percent and again, this cancer energy, it's all about home, it's all about stability, safety, security, belonging, family. That's where you're headed. Then we've got this card, let your friends help you. <laughs> and it says, ask for and accept support from others. Mm -hmm. It could be that friends um, set you up with this person, or maybe you're going to be out with your uh, friend circle, with your girlfriends or boyfriends boyfriends guy friends <laughs> and uh, you meet this person you will start conversation you will start talking and uh, or maybe there will be a call from your friend and they will ask um, if you are single now could you introduce you to someone because we've got some communication coming your way and i feel like that's how all of it will start definitely friends are important in this picture in this uh, connection beginning 100 percent and then we've got this card, Relationship Patterns. And it says, it takes strength to recognize the need for change. Yeah, and I feel like you've been through that very recently and, and it was very hard emotionally for you. With the Eight of Cups, deciding that you are done with this pattern, you are done with trying to uh, entertain the person who has no intention of anything serious with you, ending up with you, building a family with you, it's almost like I'm not investing anymore into something that is just draining, that is just taking, taking and taking. I deserve more. I deserve someone who will give for a change. Yeah, recognizing the need for a change. That's exactly what you've done recently and good for you. You've started over somehow. It's almost like a reset for many of you with this judgment. A reset about how you feel about relationships, how you feel about yourself in your love life and moving on to something completely different from what you've been in in the past and that's just so beautiful with the emperor and money it's, it's such a stable energy security safety stability i love this for you let's look at the bottom of your deck pile three <laughs> and we've got the high priestess mm -hmm. maybe the connection that you've been in in the past it was a secret connection like a secret affair or you were just lovers with your person or maybe they were just it's, it was just full of secrets full of just hidden things dishonesty a lot of wondering a lot of confusion and you definitely deserve something real something stable serious and just someone who would be proud to say this is my wife or my husband this is my partner and we are building a family together we are building our future together i'm very serious about them i'm gonna fight for them this is what's coming towards you not all of the secrecy and um kind of slippery stuff you left behind i'm very happy for your pile three so this is all I have for you. I hope this reading has given you answers that you've been looking for, has inspired you in any way, has resonated with you. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.